why every realtor should know about DSTs. Knowledge of DSTs can lead to listings and working with more investors. I mean, are you like me, one of those realtors who is a problem solver that listens and adapts to their clients' needs? Typically, the best realtors know that it requires knowledge, experience, and have a few extra skills in their back pocket in order to best serve their clients. And now this market has shifted. So if you are those realtors who truly want to serve your clients and get help generating listings, you should know about Delaware Statutory Trust, DSTs. On April 18th at 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. via Zoom, Pacific Standard Time, you will learn about DSTs, Delaware Statutory Trust, and structured installments. And you will know, you will find out how DSTs can help realtors generate listings, and better serve their clients, especially clients from the baby boomer generation who are entering into retirement or in retirement already. What is a DST? You ask? Let's start with the basics. DST stands for Delaware Statutory Trust, and they're generally represented by institutional quality properties or portfolios of properties that owners can exchange their investment property into while also deferring capital gain tax by performing a regular, well, not a regular, but a tax-deferred 1031 exchange. Despite the name, Delaware Statutory Trust investments aren't just for Delaware. They can be offered throughout the United States and can include a wide range of property types, including commercial and retail buildings, industrial properties, medical offices, multifamily apartment complexes, single-tenant rental properties, and much more. What is great about DSTs is that landlords only need to transfer their net proceeds, unlike when they do a normal 1031 exchange where they have to find replacement property equal or greater than the property they sold, like this scenario. Say your client, you know, just using easy numbers, had a million dollar property, but they had a $500,000 loan on it. Normally with a regular 1031 like exchange, they would have to find a property at a million or above, right, to exchange, but then they have to go get another loan. Right. And that may not work for some of your clients who may not have paid their mortgage in the past few years because their tenants weren't paying them rent. So they probably wouldn't qualify for another loan. Right. In that particular scenario. So what's so great about DSTs is that they can roll just the net proceeds. So out of that million, they had a $500,000 loan. They were just rolling the $500,000. But do know they do must have a net worth of $1 million to qualify to work for a DST. And you find out more about that on April 18th. So I say this is an awesome tool for distressed landlords that may be foot facing foreclosures or need to sell due to tenants not paying rent, right? And also DSTs are also great for baby boomers, real estate investors, landlords who have entered retirement and may prefer to no longer deal with the hassles of property management, including maintenance problems, tenant disputes, rent checks, vacancies, and leases. And DSTs are also great as a 1031 exchange backup when your client is unable to find a replacement property during that 45-day identification period, which goes so fast, or they're unable to acquire the property within the 180 days for whatever reason, 1031 is a great exchange backup for that scenario. So if you want to unleash more listings with DSTs and structured installments, which we'll talk about too, Come to our April 18th Zoom at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You will hear from one of the top leading real estate return of investment management companies, Charles Jensen, who's a senior vice president of Inland Private Capital Corporation. This company, they ended the 2022 year with 12.2 billion assets under management. And we also have Lyndon Gray, who's a 1031 tax deferred financial advisor, who's, I mean, he specialized in this stuff. And those two men will be our guests on April 18th at 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via Zoom. So scan in the QR code or click in the link in the body of the caption. We also, in each of these sessions, well, it starts from, you know, 11 to 12. So around 12 o'clock, we start a 20 to 30 minute networking session where you can build up your referral relationships with out of area agents. So that's cool, right? So I'm so excited. I love to talk about DSTs and I can't wait to share with you all on how you can help yourself if you're an investor, a landlord, or you know, or you have clients that you know have those different scenarios. So this is a great solution. See you on April 18th via Zoom at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Scan the QR code or click in the link in the body 
of the pulse. Thank you.